using Casio Prism model that is FXCG10. It's a graphing calculator. How to do these two definite integrals? Uh, remember that definite integral is a real number on a real line, at least for the high school students. So the value that you are looking for is going to be a number. So we go to the calculator and use the run matrix mode. So we execute and open that. The integrals are done in math. So the math option is here at the F4 location. So you press F4 and then again look down here. You can see the derivatives but no integral. But there is something that says look ahead. So we have integral here at F1 position. Now we are ready to insert the data. So I'm going to say we needed square root 1 plus 16 over something. So we need square root which is shift that's the square root and 1 plus 16 over 81 something. So that means a fraction is required 16 over 81 and that something is here 81 times x raised to 2 over 3. 81 times x to the power is here and again we need a fraction there so we choose this and that is 2 over 3. This would be done but we didn't put the definite integral limit uh, the uh, upper and lower limit so we need to put that as here 0 to 1 or uh, so that goes 1 up and 0 here. Now we are ready and you simply execute we will get answer only to the two digits. So I am going to say execute and the answer comes as 1.22. And after doing this, uh, the second problem, I will see if I can increase number of digits. Uh, so let us go to the second. It is again integral. So we will have to simply uh, do the same expression F1. We have, but this integral had 2 pi outside. So I am going to put that one 2. And the pi is yellow, so shift yellow. If you go here, you can get the square root sign as you got earlier with shift there. And 1 plus, and we'll check the expression before we hit execute. That was 1 over 4x. Four, four, that is x. Again, we have to go back to put the upper and lower integration limits. That's this time it was 0 to 4. So 4 is there and 0 is here. And we will check 2 pi 0 to 4. 2 pi 0 to 4. We need x and I think I messed up there. So I am going to put x here. Okay, I have to get that. The getting cursor to the right position is the only trick. So here it is. It's already now our expression is correct. X square root of one, one over four is one one over four is dx, and we say execute again to two decimal places. We get fifty two point twenty three, and. I will try to uh, see how to get more digits. So the digits are controlled in the original shift setup. And we have, uh, we go in the reverse direction here, display fix two digits. We want 
more digits so we have fixed two at the f1 position so i am going to say f1 and i think just for the sake of it i am going to increase it to five digits and now it's ready so five so now we have five so if we go here and execute this again we should get more digits there it is five digits same thing with the previous calculation we say execute and you get one point see more digits so those are the answers and that's the end of the clip